Mark, Stop and Shop, a &P. John Kelly has become an exactly expert coupon clipper uh, in the nearly two years he's been out of work. People are losing their jobs for other reasons. Mine's just somewhat unique. How it Kelly worked for Bernie Madoff. He wasn't a high-level employee. His salary of $125,000 a year was modest by Wall Street standards. But for almost 10 years, up on the 19th floor of Madoff's firm, he worked on the trading desk as a liaison to brokerage firms. How do you feel about having been caught up in all that? I still have nightmares or dreams you know, when you, that, you, that r remind me of working there. Do you think, uh, obviously, um, you know, when they see the Madoff name on your resume, do you think people are assuming you were part of this? I, I don't know what people think. I mean, I didn't have that type of a position. Nearly two years ago, after Madoff's $20 billion Ponzi scheme collapsed, Kelly lost his job and has not been able to find one since. Do you think it's the recession or is it who you worked for? I believe it's definitely both, but I will Because of comments he's received from employers like this one. We'll need substantial convinc convincing as to why someone who worked with that worst of scoundrels should be giving any consideration at all. He's not alone. Some agencies um, had been told, don't even, by clients, do not send me anybody that worked for the company. For more than a decade, Elaine Solomon was personal assistant to Bernie Madoff's brother, Peter. When I read who has been charged, and I still can't believe it. I look at them and I go, oh my God, all those years, and you knew what was going on. Solomon says she lost her family inheritance, about $200,000 to Madoff's scheme, and her job. Now you look at everybody with a little cynicism, and who do you trust anymore? After more than a year of trying to find work in New York, Solomon moved to Florida to reinvent herself as a real estate agent. I'm happy that people not down here are not obsessed uh, by Madoff. And, and that's important. You know, you have to move on. I moved on. But John Kelly hasn't been able to yet. The name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, amen. How's your family holding up in this? It's been a strain. I, I, don't, I don't even know how well I'm holding up in it. John, his wife Barbara, and their three kids live in a modest two-bedroom townhouse in a New York suburb. For now, they're surviving on unemployment and food stamps. Their church donated their Thanksgiving turkey. The children, who used to visit the corporate headquarters and go on company picnics, were confused when Madoff was arrested. The famous scene where they show him coming around the corner and he's being bombarded by the photographers and pushed away. I remember my one, my middle child, he was upset when he saw that because he remembers him, you know, as a nice man. It's like knowing two different people all of a sudden now. How do you reconcile that or can you? I don't know how. I don't, I mean, hopefully in time I will be able to. Bernie Madoff didn't just deceive his friends and investors. He deceived dozens of employees, too. I, I didn't lose any money. You know, I lost my job. I lost my livelihood. And for John Kelly, the Madoff scandal isn't history yet. No. You just can't close the door on this thing. Not yet. I'm trying. I need someone to open up a door before I can close that one. And I've got to get that door open. Okay. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.